Hi, Kristen. Hi, Charmy. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Thanks for hopping Good. on. No worries. Thank you so much for having me. For sure, for sure. So for anyone just hopping on, my name is Charmy. I am with Indiegogo and I'm super stoked to have Kristen on the call today. She joins us from sunny Brisbane, Australia. So good morning yeah. over there, right? It is good morning. It is a beautiful <laughs> sunny day, so can't complain. <laughs> I'm jealous. I'm in a, you know, in a jacket here. <laughs> yeah, we like even our winters, we probably still wear this. <laughs> <laughs> well, a little bit more about Kristen, we'll dive into it today, but she is the solo founder of Soul and Sonder. Um, she is on a mission to change the face of solar power and making it sexy. Um, sexy with her product, the Travel Wallet, which comes complete with um, solar panels and a power bank. So super That's cool it. product. Thank <laughs> you. <laughs> well, I always like to start with an icebreaker question so we can know you a little better. Mm -hmm. um, you know, your product is really resonant with, you know, traveling and just needing power kind of on the go. Um, yeah. And travel is something on our minds lately, especially this past couple of years. <laughs> oh, so I've been missing it for so long. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I'm sure you're ready, I am. <laughs> so where, uh, where do you want to travel next or where are you traveling next if you have any plans? So actually next month, I'm heading over to Zimbabwe to go catch up with a good friend of mine. So I'm wow. super, super excited. Yeah. So I'm going to finally be able to take my prototype and put it to good use and maybe get some, get some pictures of it in action and not get eaten by a uh, alliance. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Well, there's definitely plenty of sun there for you to try it out and you'll have to share photos with us and tell yes. us how it works. Plenty of sun to harness over there, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> so prior to Soul and Sonder, um, you know, who's Kristen? Tell us a little bit about you. I, I always like to know um, the background of the founder of such a cool product too. Yeah, awesome. I mean, I grew up in Brisbane, uh, you know, haven't left too far from home. Uh, but I guess by trade, uh, I'm actually a graphic designer. Oh. Uh, the for the last uh, uh, four-ish years, I've been managing a really gorgeous boutique uh, graphic design studio. So really love that creative atmosphere. Uh, we work with a whole heap of startups, so hundreds of different startups from different backgrounds. And, you know, it was always so fun and exciting to kind of watch, um, watch a brand kind of transition from an idea into reality. So I guess that was a little bit of inspo for me as well, wanting to just kind of start that avenue myself. For sure, for sure. I mean, startups, um, you know, are definitely an inspiring environment to be in. Um, and to launch one yourself is another huge, brave step. So congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> it's such a cool product. And, you know, it's interesting because you talk about design going from graphic design to designing an actual product. So yeah. um, tell us a little bit more. How did you come up with that idea? So... About in 2019, my partner at the time had kind of been working on a whole heap of large scale solar projects out in kind of rural indigenous communities. Uh, so places like in far north Queensland, you know, catch a plane, drive a whole heap. And uh, we, really relied, <laughs> <laughs> we really relied on solar for, for so much. We'd go camping all the time. So we had solar strapped to the roof of the car. It was just kind of like a common uh, kind of word that was thrown around all the time and I guess the the real idea came to me when we were traveling down in Sydney uh, mm -hmm. we said we were saying we were visiting friends at this beautiful place called Manly which is just north of Sydney it's a real coastal kind of town no, it's not town I mean it's a beautiful like entertainment kind of hub it's amazing full of beach sounds bars. dreamy yeah just like <laughs> buzzing buzzing busy environment it was just absolutely beautiful and uh, we were constantly traveling from the cbd via ferry over to manly we we're spending the day there shopping and uh you know come the end of the day we were we were getting stuck and not being able to find our way back to our apartment because our phones were were just dead and uh oh, no. a few too many 
I know. And a few too many uh, drinks at Frankie's Pizza one night and we completely forgot to charge our power banks. So not only did, uh, you know, we not have a way to get like to charge, we kind of did have have a bit of a backup plan there, but no way to charge our backup. So I just remember, I just remember thinking, God, it would be so helpful to have some solar. So I went home and I literally just wanted to buy a product that I could take with me next time. Uh, but everything I found was very much, you know, really dedicated to camping and hiking and, you know, just kind of stuff that I don't think suited the, the, the use that I wanted to use, of course. So I kind of thought, surely there's other people that are kind of struggling with this and this irritation. So I will make, I will make one myself. <laughs> I love it. I can relate a hundred percent. I know I'm terrible with directions, even if I'm not traveling, literally here in my own city, I get turned around especially after a couple of drinks. That's it. <laughs> I'm like, you know, that's like the worst feeling for me. And then, you know, you also bring up safety as a factor, you know, you don't want yeah. to turn down the wrong street or wrong neighborhood um, yeah, and yeah, not have that way. sense of, yeah. So super that's cool. It. And it really, you're right. It really is a need in that, you know, in that industry. Um, yeah, yeah. Yeah, definitely. I, I think that really like who can get the most benefit would really be just anyone who's irritated of being caught without power. Um, mm -hmm. and what I really wanted to do was not just to be international travel as well. That's why I wanted to split the two products up. Cause obviously like it looks and it fits amazing within the, the travel wallet, but, um, I wanted to make sure that I had it as like a really nice standalone product so that you could put it in your handbag, put it in a backpack and it doesn't have to be while you're, you know, while you're going overseas. So. Yeah. I love it. It's very sleek. It's very fashionable. Um, yeah. Tell us a little bit more about the details and the features. Maybe show us some of your favorite parts of it. Yeah. Yeah. So basically what I've got is I've got the panels sitting in behind. Uh, Ooh, this uh -huh. Let me just like press a little button so you can kind of see the lights all flashing. And what I've done is I've made them completely detachable so that the wallet obviously has its use just as a, a standalone wallet as well. And then, so these are the panels here. I think I'm actually Ooh. getting some sunlight through this room, which is Look at that. Awesome. <laughs> Powering up while, That's while, it. while you're That's on it. IG Live. <laughs> yeah. and, uh, and I wanted these to just really look like a, just a nice product on their own. So they're wrapped in a really gorgeous Nappa leather, which is, it's really like a nice soft, soft leather so that oh. you you know it just it just feels a lot more flexible um but it's still really durable as well and it just feels it feels amazing so yeah so that's it's gorgeous it's more. so sleek it's so portable easy to carry that's it that's it so <laughs> yeah, yeah when like i think I, of solar I, power i think of like super technical you know hardware yeah. and this is just everyday super sleek and usable I love it yeah totally and I have actually made it as well which um I don't really mention too much but what you can do is you can just take so this is a 3d printed power bank at the moment so I'm raising funds to make my own um my own custom like just a really nice sleek power bank um but this comes out completely separate and if you don't need the panels um you know you don't have to take them with you uh, but ah. these just, it just sits in like a nice little pocket here. So yeah, it's brilliant really design. Like, I love it. I take it with me to the beach all the time. I just, had to, like, <laughs> rub, I just had to rub a little bit of sand off it. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. Well, talking about raising funds. Um, so we see you have a live campaign on Indiegogo with, mm -hmm. uh, your, you know, your backers and your campaign's fulfilled, so congratulations. Um, and you've got you. 16, day, 16 days left to continue raising funds. Yeah. Ooh, so sorry, just, yeah, tell yeah. us, <laughs> tell us <laughs> about your community of, of backers or just your community in general of, of travelers and um, those who would be you know, a really great fit for the product and how you yeah. found them. Yeah, so uh, again, like it's, it's for men and for women. I tried to make sure that I did a lot of like different color variations so that, you know, it could be really flexible with who, uh, who's using it. Um, I found that um, going and chatting to a lot of different like travel communities on Facebook. Mm, um, wow, was really, really, cool. Yeah, so it was just a really kind of great way to, to kind of, I guess, see that love and that, that kind of passion for, um, for a product like this. Um, 
So um, I uh, reached out to the girls at um, Girls Love Travel and um, I put like a little survey up there of, you know, different oh. colors that they'd like and where they'd envisage using it. So yeah, it was just really kind of awesome to see uh, to see that all come about and just to get that really good feedback and the good following before before going going live. I wanted to make sure that I was giving, and this, this came from a bit of feedback as well from um, a couple of travel bloggers about, you know, the, the need for something really lightweight is really important mm. while traveling as well. So mm -hmm. that's why I kind of, that's why I wanted to give the, the two panel options. So you can choose from either two or three panels. The two panels are obviously a little bit lighter than the, the three panels. Um, and we're also going to be looking at developing a 2,500 milliamp battery so that it's half that weight again. So it kind of just, I wanted to give the back, uh, my backers an option between um, a higher efficiency to, to store power faster or to go for something that's like definitely just going to be there for backup when it's needed and just to keep it like a really lightweight product. Very so cool. So we've, yeah. yeah, we've got those two options. That's it. <laughs> and yeah. beautiful color options too. So really that's great it. crowdsourcing information and, and seeing what people want. Yeah, yeah. So it's been good. It's been that the feedback's been absolutely amazing. Very cool. Well, we're super excited and excited to have you on Indiegogo. Where can um, followers find you or, you know, potential backers and people interested in you and your product? Uh, so we can head over to uh, my obviously this Instagram page. So just at Sol and Sonda um, and then just our website, um, Sol and Sonda. Um, dot com um, is where you can kind of keep seeing our journey and obviously through the, the Indiegogo campaign. Um, I loved getting, yeah, you know, your comments and your feedback on there it has been really awesome. So, so yeah, that's, I guess, the best way to, to kind of get in touch. Super cool. Well, thank you, Kristen, for sharing everything with us and we're excited to follow along. Yeah, thank you so much. I appreciate you guys having me and uh, yeah, super excited to Make solar power a sexy travel accessory. <laughs> <laughs> I think you did it for sure. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> awesome. Well, we'll catch you later. Beautiful. Thank you so much, Charmy. I appreciate it. My pleasure. Okay. All right. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Bye.